Hello, lovelies. <laughs> Hello, my loves. Um, coming on today for June energies, Ascension energies. I've been guided to um, get on here. <laughs> I have a lot of cosmic uh, lightnings connecting um, of the highest benevolence and source beings. I have a lot of, um, I have some ascended masters as well coming in, angelics coming in. Frequencies are very high. I am literally vibrating. I've been vibrating since last night. Um, uh, I've had a lot coming in, and I've been tuning in and meditating on the energies for June that they're asking me to bring through to explain to everyone um, what is coming, um, what to expect. We'll never expect, you know, things shift. So, <laughs> um, and I have uh, one, two, like two pages that I'm going to go through as quickly as I can for everyone and try to explain them because when they come through, they are coming through many times from higher self and many times from the highest council. So some of the things when they come through uh, and I go back and look at them, I don't understand them. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> so I sat down this morning going over them again and asking my guides to try and bring them in simpler form. So I will read them both ways for everyone. Yes, there will be light language as well as always. Um, there are many here that are wishing to talk. So um, everything's going to come through. I am literally shaking so much right now because I have so many here. Um, woo. <laughs> One minute. Thank you. I've asked them just to step back for a minute so I can um, try and get through this <laughs> um, just a little bit here and um, begin this. So the first thing actually what um, this is for June. This is for what people are calling the event, the shift. It's what's been happening for a long time. It's continuing through June. The waves are continuing, okay? We are having um, solar winds today um, happening from the sun. And what that is, is with the opening of the sun, those are the waves of energy that's coming through to shift everyone and, and, and assist with this um, process that everyone is going through, this purification process. This process continues. It started a while ago and it continues. Every single person, every soul is going through this purification process to remove these dense energies from within, to remove the old belief systems, the patterns, the programming, everything. This continues. This is, um, it's almost like um, this they're showing me this fluctuation of patterns uh, of these energies just coming in and they're and they're pulsing um, it's pulsing and I've talked about this before in other videos and I've actually um, posted actual videos that I've taken of the Sun pulsing so it's coming in in these pulses these wave pulses so um, if you can sit out in the Sun please do absorb that what is coming okay what's coming in through there because this is coming from um, mother and father God this is coming from source it's coming it's coming universally and it's coming through the great central sun and through our sun for us okay to assist everyone with this ascension process um, and this awakening so It's a prevalent time. Yes, thank you. <sighs> so much energy here. Okay, thank you. We're going to do an open heart light language activation before I go any further. Um, uh, <laughs> It's needed because a lot of you open and close your hearts or a lot of you have had open hearts and you've closed them because of relationship traumas or because of belief systems that you've actually placed upon yourself or you've chose to close your heart because you've stopped trusting and stopped believing is what they're saying. So we want to assist with reopening the heart again. And it's up to you to keep your hearts open. Okay. So here we go. Non si torna a tenere, ora corre sempre a.
Na ora meta so ora mea tone, ira ura tona sa, ura ana ana ura te, mu ua hiantea, usa tea mua ante, ura kosu shu na unama, ya hari kota, usa mea ura kosu nto shua, mua ura menne. They just opened my solar plexus really wide. I feel like, um, okay, so there's the same third eye solar plexus and heart this month. Third eye solar plexus and heart. Solar plexus is what governs our divine will, okay? That's where a lot of people tend to get that energy stuck when they are um, either giving their power away or um, overpowering someone. It's that control. It's where you carry anger. Um, third eye. Uh, some people do not wish to see certain things, so you kind of turn your backs. So it's time for you to see. Time for you to see truths, they're saying. They're turning you around. They literally like, took, like, show me a human, turning them around to stop walking away from truth. Um, no matter what the truth may be in your life, stop turning around. Um, and that everything, everything, we have to bring the upper and the lower chakras together through the heart space and create that, um, that harmony within, create the balance of the masculine and the feminine, okay? It has to happen and it goes through the heart, okay? The heart and they're saying pineal gland heart is connected, pineal gland just as third eye heart connected to pineal gland. And um, this is so very important to have this heart open and allow, allow yourself to receive love as well as to give love. Open your hearts and um, kindness and compassion are key in this process. So, and as I say in every video, <laughs> Everything that we know, everything that we see, everything that we speak or say, and everything that we do, all of our actions should come from the heart. Always from love. Murotone sente mi uno urokente, yo shone mi ana aya, ukore anase irusu yana, mo yana tua. I get higher and higher every time I do that. <laughs> oh, hopefully you guys are feeling it. Okay, so oh, there's going to be more. I just know it because I'm like, ooh. All right, so um, for June 2018, here we go, okay? The first thing I received was Eyes of the Storm. So I want... <laughs> 
these things come through with messages that I'm like, what? <laughs> so, okay, so eyes of the storm. As some of you may know, um, some of you might look online at that, the weather site. It's a station. Um, I actually have it. I look on it every once in a while. I picked it up last year and it shows like the solar flares and the solar winds. So there's like these openings on the sun um, that look like an eye. Um, so the waves of energy are coming in. So what I did is I went back with this and it said the waves, the waves, the eyes are bringing, um, Oh, I can't read my writing because they went so fast. Raise into the storm within you, okay, for purification. So that's exactly what, what they're referring to. So the, the, the storms on the sun or whatever you want to call them, um, solar storms, solar winds, there's solar flares coming through. It is the waves of energy that are coming in. They continue this month, and I see several of them. And they are just um, what's coming in for purification. And today is actually one of the days that it is happening. So some of you may be feeling it. Some of you may be feeling tired. Um, some of you may be feeling groggy. Those that are very much empaths will feel it a lot. Um, it will affect you more than others. Um, then there are people that are very dense with their physical bodies and they don't feel anything. So, um, but for some people, it may give them headaches. Um, you may have tension. So. Um, Relax into it, do yoga, do meditation, do whatever you can, get out in earth and um, ground yourself and um, be in nature if you can and um, relax. They're saying just relax, relax, be in water, just relax. They're saying just relax. Um, calm. <laughs> so the next thing I had, calm reflex, and I'm not, I haven't. So I feel like the calm reflex has to do with uh, when you actually. Uh, sit in the energy of the waves and do the um, meditations and the relaxing, that calm reflex back. Okay, so thank you. So the next thing said, life expands. That was my, my next message. So I asked, uh, I focused on that. And so what I received from that is the soul growth expansion for everyone. So for me, when I, when I focused on that a little more, what I actually heard is what are you doing on a daily basis for your soul's growth? So look at yourself. Look and see what you're doing for your soul's growth, okay? We came here to evolve. Um, we came here for this shift, those of us that volunteered. And you also came here, regardless of being a volunteer for this or not, as a human to evolve your soul. So what are you doing every day from your heart, living from your heart, to expand, okay? to grow, to evolve, okay? So take a look at that this month and see, because I feel, because this is what's coming in for this month, is people are gonna start looking into that more than, it's all about me, this is about everyone and everything and how we're supposed to be working together. Um, the next uh, message I got um, is shifts of refracted light. <laughs> so, um, shifts of refracted light. Let me ask them. <sighs> okay, so they're showing me um, the light coming in. Okay, so this again is the light coming in, the pure light coming in through the sun, coming in and it refracts, which I feel means like bouncing. So almost like, well, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, so I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. It comes in and it like bends. It's almost like the, it's bending is what I'm seeing. Like the, the waves of light are bending and they're coming in um, and these waves are shifting so they said shifts of refracted light so there's what I feel it is, is is the waves of refracted light so the waves of light are coming in they're bending and we are absorbing it it's also going into the earth as well and actually can come right back up from the earth and go into us either way it can come in here it can come in through um, the feet um, so that's what I feel that is um, from what they're showing me. The next one was photon illumination exceeds quantum knowing. <laughs> so if, if you know me and you've watched my videos for a couple years or for, yeah, you know, you know that this one stumps me. So photon illumination exceeds quantum knowing. So I went in and asked my guides this morning, I'm like, what? Um, so they said this is the pulsing of the light um, from the sun. So that's the photon illumination is the pulsing of the light from the sun. 
and that exceeds quantum knowing means it exceeds what our um, what our scientists and what we what we know it exceeds it goes beyond what we know as humans on this earth because we're in this box because we haven't stepped outside of the box so um, these photons of light that are coming in are exceeding our quantum knowing so it's just again this is the uh, this is the waves that are coming in these photons of light coming in to illuminate us they're saying they're going to be illuminating you and um, again as I think it was last month they had accelerate your knowing um, that antiquity oh that might have been back in March but accelerate your knowing is what they're saying right now to me thank you um, the next thing I got was ultraviolet is extended in numerous form um, what's that <laughs> Violet light, violet flame. Use it wisely. Don't forget about the violet flame, they're saying. So don't forget about the violet flame. Okay. Um, use this wisely. It helps clear negative energies. But I see silver with it as well. Okay. I'm gonna move on. I'm getting really hot. There's so much energy. I should turn the air on. Oh, quintessence quantum leaps. <laughs> okay, so quantum leaping. They're showing quantum leap. They're showing. <laughs> okay, this is one of my guides that like um, is goofy. Like I have one that's really fun. Um, showing me frogs leaping, but leaping much bigger than before. So we are leaping bigger than the four. So what I feel this is, is we are accelerating our processes faster than before. Everything is continuing. It was going faster. It's going even faster this month. Okay. So be prepared for things to happen even faster than they already are. Okay. That's what they're showing me. Boom, boom, because the Fargy is going really fast. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Um, bridging gaps are happening this month, so um, <sighs> things that you feel that you have not, like almost like puzzle pieces, so they're showing me puzzle pieces, so things that you feel have not come into place yet for you are starting to bridge. They're coming in, so almost like the connections that you are looking to make. Things that you feel like you have been missing for your process so far are starting to come together. Um, you're discovering some things. You're going to be discovering some things about yourself as well. Um, and um, life is going to continue um, in flow and, and, and harmony if you allow it and if you stay in here. Okay? All right. Because the only one that creates that gap in the bridge is you yourself. All right. Okay. The Milky Way is exalted. So I was like, all right. Every time I hear Milky Way, I think of a candy bar when I was a little Halloween Milky Way. Um, so Milky Way is exalted. Exalted is being um, joy and happy and, and high. So what I feel that is, and here comes the vision. So it's almost like the Milky Way, which is our solar system, or part of our solar system, yes, okay, it's, it's like the vibrations, um, the vibrations are shifting, and the joy is coming, and the only way that happens is when we as a collective do this together. Okay, so you have to continue to raise your vibrations. You have to continue to keep yourself in joy. Stay out of the negative thoughts. Stay out of the negative energy. Okay, this month is going to be a very sensitive month for people. Okay, um, you're going to be feeling very sensitive this month. They're showing because they're showing me people like that, like running away from like people that are negative. Stay away from the things that you're sensitive to. Okay, um, people, harmful situations, um, harmful energies. Um, uh, and you know what? I, I was just on a session with my um, friend Paul Debris Carey uh, last week, and we talked about some uh, crystals. And one of them, is like I have on here, is Shungite. Okay, Shungite is from Russia. The only place that there is a mine is in Russia. And this is great to have. I, uh, uh, this is great to have for the EMFs, 
okay, and for radiation. Um, also for those of us that have a higher magnetic field, like I tend to blow out things, I break down cash registers at the store. <laughs> I always tell them, oh, I wasn't meant to pay for it. <laughs> but um, I do have issues with light bulbs. So Shungai is good for you to wear, um, especially with the Wi-Fi, okay? I actually have it on the back of my phone as well because of the radiation that comes from your phones. I just wanna show you guys this little thing right here, Shungai, okay? So look into that um, for protecting yourself against those, um, the, the radiation and uh, the EMFs that everybody is prone to right now in the countries where we actually use this kind of technology. Um, there's other crystals you can use as well, but this one works for me. Um, yes, thank you. So um, the, uh, this can't, I don't know how this just kind of flew in from the Milky Way's exalted, but okay. So I'm just going to go on. Um, the next thing I had is awakening is catapulted. So there are those that are just awakening. Okay. And it's almost like they're going to be catapulted. <laughs> they just... Uh, I don't know what that thing is. Uh, maybe it is called a catapult. The thing with the big stone in it and it's wood and they just let it go. It's like a stone went flying. So it like went really fast. So people's awakenings are going to be catapulted. So faster, just like I said earlier, faster, like quantum leaps, faster. Also, there's going to be more people awakening. If you are already awake, um, enough in this process that you understand like the beginning of the process, please have your hand out okay, for those that are just awakening so that you can assist them because there's going to be chaos. People that are going to be awakening that are very dense are not going to understand what's happening. If you are someone in the family that already has gone through this and you understand this, hold your hand out and assist them, please, okay? Um, I received this message that cathedral scene is abolished. The cathedral scene is abolished. I feel that has to do with the religions, the false religions, and how they control the masses, how they keep you in that little box of follow us this way, because this is the only way, and there's only these people. And um, I, so I feel like almost like the structures, okay, yes, the structures are coming down. So for those of you that may be religious or may follow a religion, if it helps you, fine. Um, but the awakening is coming for everyone to understand that a, lo a lot of these religions are to keep you um, under control. Okay, that's all I'm going to say because it's saying the cathedral scene is abolished. So I feel like um, the structures, because it's the structure behind the structure behind the structure. And if you knew who really controlled the religions behind there, you probably want to be sick. Um, I've seen it in meditation and I've actually had it confirmed. So, um, okay, so the stars administer rays of light um, within their defined purpose. So this one, I, I wondered, because they're saying the stars administer the rays of light within their defined purpose. So I asked if this is actually the stars or if it's the star beings on earth. So those of you that are star beings, those of you that are star children, this is referring to you. Um, it's saying the children of the light are also seeding. So the children of light, those of us that are working in the light, we are seeding, we are planting seeds, we are creating this new earth and we are creating all in love. Always do this from here. Um, let's see, intention, intent is clear. Okay, so those of us that are children of light that are seeding, make sure your intent is clear. Make sure everything's happening. Everything you're doing is from the heart. Your intentions are clear and your intentions are in the highest love and the highest light with kindness and compassion and grace and wisdom, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, so the next thing is, okay, celestial moon phase shift expands the light in which one is set to receive. <laughs> so 
So celestial moon phase shift. So these are the shifts that are happening. Remember, we have 13 moons this year. This is also um, 13 is very big this year. I've been saying this since my first video in January. June 13th, um, I've been seeing the number 67, which has represented so many things. I've said this since my in almost every one of my videos this year. But June 13th, which I finally realized, I went in and realized that June 13th is actually the new moon. So we have some shifts coming with this new moon because the 67 I'm seeing is also 13, but six and seven are the months of June and July, which are going to be big months with these energies. Um, so this month of uh, June, um, June 13th, also 13th is the number of the Gadas, which I also feel that, and I've already seen that the 13th of every month this year with the moon phases of the 13 moons, because that is this, the, um, the goddess energy, the divine feminine goddess energy, once again, is going to be prevalent that day. So be out there to absorb it. Um, but also uh, with this new moon, it's going to be creating some um, huge shifts again. Um, they're showing expansion and um, they just said light. Frequency shift, they just said frequency shift. And they're saying, allow all that needs to happen to happen, okay? Don't block things um, because the ego saying, stop, don't do that, because that's just keeping you in that comfort zone, okay? Go into the actual mind. The mind is good. The mind is good when you're in that state of being of the love consciousness and meditation. And allow things to flow. Allow yourself to receive, okay? They're just showing me, they're just showing me, like, with this new moon coming in June, it's going to be, like, <laughs> okay, I don't know why they're showing me this. They're showing, like, if you're sleeping at night, your bed's going to be picked up and, like, literally moved into another room. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure that one out. <laughs> also, the summer solstice is in June. And um, I think I said in the last couple of videos, I felt that the summer solstice was going to be very big, energy shifting. Um, there's going to be some stuff for all souls. There's also going to be some different waves of light energy with the solstice that are for more advanced souls, um, for those that need to um, uh, do more creation with their work in creating these communities to bring people together. Um, and then those that have chosen the ascension process um there will be different ways of energy as well so it's almost like um it's touching you where you are is what i feel okay so just remember everybody is where they are supposed to be in their process nobody is farther than the other person um it's just um everybody is where they need to be to assist here on gaia and to assist with this um process that, that everyone is going through so everyone is a piece to the puzzle so it's just like everyone's coming together this puzzle is starting to come together okay so very uh in june open hearts compassion and kindness is very important um sensitive sensitive i think i already talked about that that came up earlier be aware of the energies around you okay you're going to be very sensitive this month a lot of people are going to be very sensitive stay away from the people that that make you just want to run and hide in the corner, okay? Just stay away from them. Allow them to fall away. Pro you know, you have to protect yourself right now. So do what's best for you. Use crystals um, and um, keep yourself, um, they keep showing Mother Earth again. Connect to Mother Earth. Connect to Mother Earth, you know, and ha have some time just for you. Create time for you. It is very, very, very important, okay? And if you have kids, I know we're always like, oh, I have kids. The kids are always around. I don't have any time for me. Create it, okay? Stop saying that and create it. You can find someone to watch your kids for 20 minutes. You can do this, okay? Stop saying you can't, all right? This goes for men and women. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. 
my video has stopped, so I don't know if it's continuing to go, but if you guys can hear me, let me know because my video is not doing anything. Okay, here we go. Um, nurturing yourself this month is really important. This continues with purification because you're going to feel times when you're going to feel really tired with these DNA shifts that are happening. You're going to feel very tired. Uh, at days. Um, also continue to exercise. It's so very important, even if you could just get out and walk. If you don't like to exercise, walk or swim. Do something that's simple. Do yoga, um, do Pilates, do what you can and get out and move the body because when you move the body, you move the energy in the body. The energy needs to flow. If you don't flow, then everything stays stagnant. We're constantly moving because we are energy, but this is how sometimes you create these, um, uh, uh, like an energy block within you in the physical body that um, needs to move. So continue to exercise. It's really, really very important to move. Um, dance, my gosh, dance. Okay, I love to dance. <laughs> when this video is off, I'm dancing. <laughs> um, Continue um, creating what you want and what you uh, not what you don't want. So focus on what you want. Okay, continue that, especially for the new earth. Continue focusing on that. Um, and even if you can get together with a small group of people and um, and meditate together on creating what you want for this new earth and what you know, focus on only that. Don't focus on what you don't want. Allow that stuff to fall away. Don't even bring that into your consciousness. Focus on what you want. What do you want? Do you want that we don't have to have money on the new earth, right? No exchange of money. That's how it's always meant to be. Uh, it didn't happen until the patriarchal system came in and all came, turned to greed. Brilliance, wisdom, new schooling where we teach about life and who we truly are and we teach about um, the abilities and how to use them from the time we're children. Not about the stuff that's in the books now that have nothing to do with who we truly are. Focus on the stuff that you want, okay? It's so important. That's that's truly what's real. In your heart, create what you want. And in your heart, create that which you know. You bring it from where you come. Nyakya. Okay. Continue working on the energies of the masculine and feminine within you, bringing them into um, harmony. When you're in harmony, when you have harmony, you're in that state of balance. That is the connection of the upper chakras, the lower chakras together through the heart space. Um, um, bring that balance um, into your life. It's it's so very important. I uh, the last video I showed where we had uh, um, the mother and the father. So the father is the triangle up, and the mother is the inverted triangle. And when we bring those two, the divine masculine and feminine together, then we end up with what forms like the star of David, and that's the creation of that harmony um, within you and um, that balance. Okay. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, find blessings in your current situation. I know there's a lot of you out there that are, um, I have a lot of clients that say they're struggling with things or they don't understand why things are happening. Um, here's the thing. Remember, everything that's happening is something that we've chosen um, to experience. So find the blessing in it. It's very important this month because when you start to focus on finding the blessing in something, even if you think it's something that is not um, good or maybe negative, um, in what you know through the conscious mind is truly a blessing because every experience is an experience and a lesson in love, okay? These experiences show us what we want and what we don't want. They show us who we should be and who we shouldn't be, okay? Remember that everything that happens in your life, you've chosen. And remember that you're the one who chooses everything that you're doing. Um, and you choose everything that you say. You choose everything that you see. Remember, um, a lot of stuff is interpretation. So that's why it's 
it's it's very important to get out the fall out of the false identity ego and into the mind where we can allow the things to flow as they were saying before allow the information to come, allow the things to flow so that you can focus on who you truly are okay and when you're in that state of being that state of mind where the mind body and soul are all in that harmonious state and then that balance that's when you can truly see that everything everything you're experiencing you're experiencing as a lesson in love okay you came down here from source you are source you came to experience it and and as i've in meditations been hearing so many times there is no right and wrong Okay, you came to experience it only as a lesson to learn what we want to be in the higher vibration and we move on from that. Okay, and there should be no judgment I'm hearing. There should be no judgment. We should not be placing judgment upon anyone else and very importantly, never judge yourself because when you sit there judging yourself, you keep yourself in a lower vibration. Okay. Let go of judgment, very important. Um, okay, follow your heart. That's one of my favorite sayings, um, follow your heart. Um, push to stand in your power. Okay, so this month you're gonna be pushed more to stand in your power. I'm actually seeing this in my children, the teenagers right now, and the people in their 20s. I'm seeing a lot of these younger um, kids they're starting to be pushed to stand in their power. They're starting to actually speak up to the adults that are in the ego, the false identity ego, that are saying negative things to younger kids just because they're younger, um, trying to control them because of age. These kids are turning around and saying, no, I know what's right for me. I know in my knowing. Our kids have come in with a different DNA shift, okay? They're different than we are. Um, their structure is different and they are so many of them are awake and so when you have like a, a teacher telling your kids your kids well that's not right for you to do because everything's supposed to happen this way and your child stands up and says no that's not what's right for me your child's starting to stand in their power okay allow them to stand in their power and if they get in trouble from the school or the teacher or whatever the circumstance may be you are there to support them okay you are there to say yes stand in your power speak your voice okay this is the changes that are happening the truth is coming and it's coming in all different generations so I'm seeing this very much in the young ones right now. I'm seeing it in my kids. I'm seeing it in um, Todd's son. I'm seeing it in a lot of kids that my uh, kids go to school with. My daughter just graduated. Um, they're being pushed. Um, I'm seeing it in people that are every age. So it's just important that this is happening. Standing in your power means standing in your beliefs, okay? So you don't have to follow somebody else's belief someone else's programming that's not why you're here all right okay so I'm seeing tribes and um, soul groups are growing okay more of them are coming together so when you find your tribe or you find your soul group you start you tend to start sticking together and you because you um, resonate with that group they are definitely coming together um, a lot more, I feel, and I see in um, June, July, August. So um, this is where we're starting to create this unity in communities. Um, uh, uh, so some are already coming together, some are already together, and many are just beginning, many are, are just growing. There's a lot of them that are growing, okay? Um, Okay. Um, I, yes, thank you. They're talking about unity um, and community behind me. And I talked about this way back in January where I felt this is the year where unity and community is happening. So I feel like that's what this is referring to, the tribes and the soul groups. Um, remember, though, even though you may feel like you're in a different tribe than 
um, maybe your friends or whatever, we're still here working as one, okay? This does not separate us. There's no such thing as separation. So even though you may be in a different so group or a different tribe than maybe one of your best friends, don't allow that to separate you, okay? Don't allow, don't go into that false identity and say, my tribe's better than yours. There's no such thing. We all came here to work together, okay? So don't run away from the people that you have known or know for a long time, okay? Just because the work that you're doing is different than theirs. Everybody, as I said, is a piece to the puzzle, okay? We all came here to be working together in unity and creating these communities. Yes, and I, they're, they're, they're reminding me to talk about uh, in 2014, since 2014, I have known that I'm um, to be creating this like retreat center and this wellness and health and wellness center and retreat center for other people to be able to utilize and come together and, and hold things and also um, hold my own things there. And I've seen it since 2014 and I, it's coming, it's growing. I'm seeing it bigger and bigger and more and more. I just don't know where anything like that right now, but it is coming. So there are a lot of us out there that are seeing these right now. Um, and I feel like this is a lot of the stuff that it will be transitioning to the new earth as well. So if you're starting to see these things for you, focus on what you want, okay? Um, they're just saying expansion and growth continues. Okay, thank you. So I just wanna say, I wrote this down because when I was re when this was coming through, is I wanna say is that the most powerful person in your life is you, okay? Because you are your own sovereign being, all right? That is your right. It always has been. So again, you are the most powerful person in your life, all right? You stand in your power. Know who you are, okay? We are all part of the mother and father. We are all source here, just in a physical vessel, to have this experience. But don't forget how powerful you are, all right? Um, down to the very end here, structures are falling away. So structures are falling away. And this is very much for um, politics, again, for religions, um, the health, for government, for, um, yes, healthcare. They're saying healthcare industries. Um, insurance companies, they're showing me. All these things that are false. These things that we really don't need, because if we truly lived from our hearts and lived in community and lived in unity, we would do these things for each other, okay? You don't need any kind of security or insurance. <laughs> what they're showing is all this stuff was created only to take money from us. Okay, this is part of the greed, the um, patriarchal control greed. And they're showing that the, there's, what they're showing me is the very bottom of the structures are now being dismantled. So everything's gonna start crumbling. They're being dismantled because there are people, I wrote about this in 2015 with Archangel Michael. He came through and we wrote about how he has people in place in all of these different areas that work for him, that are from part of his, um, his legion. Uh, they're, they're the blue rays that are in these places. They're in the politics, they're in the banking systems, they're in the corporations. They are in all of these different things. He showed me them, I wrote about it and how they are in there and as soon as a certain bell chimed, that's when the dismantling was starting. So it has happened, it is happening. Some of you just can't see it right now, but please know it is happening. Look at the politics right now. Look at the structures. Look at everything shifting and shaking. I don't have a TV, but I'm hearing through other people that certain things are happening. I'm like, yes, thank you, Michael. So these are the people that are working um, on the inside. They're very quiet. You will not know who they are, and they will not reveal themselves because they cannot. But um, they're all in place, and things are happening, okay? Yay! <laughs> um, um, so, uh, again, they're just reiterating, keep your thoughts on what you want, not what you don't want. Um, as a collective, together we heal, okay? As a collective, together we heal, okay? Focus on, focus on everything that, that you want to change, because together we heal. We heal the world. 
We heal humanity. We heal um, the animals. We heal the waters. You know, we assist with this stuff. Gaia is taking care of herself. She has done it through these cycles all the time. Um, we came to help shift this change. Together we create change. Okay, together we raise the vibrations. And together we ascend. That's how we do it. And we're here to work together. All right? No Uno cura santa mina so tu na hia cura santa tene ya dura i uno shuto to mata ya mia corrente se tena ia o o ana mina arca sa to shuto cura na to ya ma yo aya o ko ya na sa to shuto to to ya mina o ko ya na ako sa to to yo to shuto to to ya mina o to to ya i quinta o ko sa to te mina ya ara kana o kamena ora ya ara kono sa to shuto mama Take a deep breath in through the nose, expanding the lungs as deep as you can. And allow the breath to fall out of the mouth and continue that, please. Makeda Arasunta. Mushunta me and Uruk and the Soto Shukane and near Soto Domian in Niana, Okia Ante Niso Shuto Ia, Murote me and Kosantomian Ayatuma, Muona e Kayana, Usantian Ocean do Pukine in Oshotonian Ayaa, Utemiana or Soto to 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 Namekia. Okana or Toma. Ignite the fire within. Stand in your power. and the frequency of love. We answer all of you when you ask us questions. We ask you to open your heart and listen to the answers. Many feel to say, I don't hear you. We say, listen. It 
is through the heart. That we communicate. We transfer love. We transfer light. We give you love. We give you light. As we resonate this vibration, you feel it in your open heart. All at one. Wow. We love you. All right, guys, that's June energy. <laughs> I'm so hot. All right, Let's see if you guys. Norway, hello. Hi, Sue. Oh, I look like no other crystals ever given me. Okay, I can't see who's who's commenting about the crystal, but I'm glad you're finding what um, you need. Um, and again, with these, I don't know why with Facebook I cannot scroll what everybody is saying. It doesn't allow it. So I'm going to um, I'm go. I'm, I'm hungry, <laughs> and I'm hot, and I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, right, right off, Randy. Oh, where do I get Shungai? Okay, so Shungai, just so you know, um, it only comes from Russia. You can find it online. Um, mine actually came directly from Russia. It took almost a month to get here. I found it on Amazon. So uh, go on and um, make sure it says that it's coming from Russia or that it is from the Russian mine because that is the only mine in the world that actually carries Shungite, okay? Um, Mary, you've had issues with light bulbs and batteries. Can't wear a watch. <laughs> That's me. I haven't been able to wear a watch forever. Um, thank you for me. Yes, Mary. So Mary, get yourself some Shungite. Uh, get a Shungite pyramid and put it in your house. They come in little pyramids. I have mine right next to my Wi-Fi box. So um, you can do that. Um, somebody's saying they don't nap, but they have been sleepy. When your body is getting sleepy, listen to your body and nurture yourself. Lay down for 15 minutes if you need to, but you need to rest, okay? You do need to listen to what your body tells you. Yes, you can put shungite in your water, Michelle. Yes, shungite is really good for um, uh, purifying water. I do have a bag of it that I bought. Um, it's, it gets on your hands, it's really black. Um, that, that's the raw form, but you can put it in your water to purify your water, absolutely. Um, hello, Gabriella. Okay, let me see. All right, so if there's no more questions, I'm probably going to sign off. I'm just going to watch here for just another second. Um, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm so high from all the light language. Uh, if you didn't get to watch this, this is about the June energies, the ascension energies. There is light language in this one. Um, it talks about what's going to be happening this month. It talks about the new moon on June 13th. Um, and that there is stuff coming as well, the ships that is coming for um, the summer solstice as well. Um, and everything in between, because there's a lot of stuff happening. Um, 
June and July. I've been seeing June and July since January that are going to be huge shifting months. Um, you know, then we have the Lion's Gate coming in August again. So there's going to be some shifting with the Lion's Gate as well. I feel there's going to be just before the Lion's Gate, there's going to be something previous to that. Um, I'm not sure what it is yet. I haven't really focused on it, but I've also been receiving um, uh, 7-Eleven, uh, 11-7, and um, that's number 17 as well. So I feel like um, 11 and 17, I feel like that's November. I feel like November is going to be, November, what I see is almost like this big blast coming. So what's happening now is preparing us for November because I feel like there's this huge thing coming before the end of 2018. So I keep receiving November, November, November. Um, um, I haven't tuned in fully in it and, and, and I haven't worked with my guides because I'm trying to focus on the now um, so that everybody can focus on what they need to work on this month. So, um, okay. All right. So I'm going to go. Um, I, I have a uh, client coming up and you're welcome. Uh, is it Grazia? <laughs> if it is, that's very pretty. Um, I'm going to go. I have a client coming in and then I have a lot of um, um, shipping to do. <laughs> with the Magdalena crystal sprays that I've created. They're very powerful. I'm almost sold out of all three dozen already. So I'll have to be creating another bunch or another batch because um, I'm the, the, the orders are still coming in. So um, I thank you, everyone. I love you. Have a wonderful month of June. I'm not sure if I'll be back to talk about the new moon or the summer solstice, but right now um, everything that came through was for the entire month, okay? Together we ascend. It's time to work together. Okay, everyone, I love you.